Alright guys, Houston's most dangerous hood. The bloody nickel, let's check it out. Houston, Houston, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. Is that the saying? Something like that. Today we're in Houston, Texas to explore 3rd and 5th Ward, the most legendary and dangerous neighborhoods in the entire city. We'll be Alright, all right, so we got some dangerous neighborhoods coming up. Back when I was homeless, I felt like I lived in a dangerous neighborhood. But there were more dangerous ones that I didn't even go down and check on because uh, it's scary. I would know we should be doing that, right, guys? Not the best thing. Accompanied by Big Jimmy, Mob Ties affiliate, and we also have an exclusive interview with Big. Well, look at the necklace on his bro. J, J Prince's son. Let's get into the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Buckethead yeah. Show. Buckethead. This guy is becoming like a hood vlogger now. Yeah. Bro, we just pulled up to where we're supposed to meet Big Jimmy, our connect. This dude is chilling with a full rifle. What the heck? He said our connect, bro. He said his connect. What do you mean connect? Connect like a... His box thing? <laughs> sorry, sorry. One second, guys. Let me pause. For those that don't know, Fifth Ward got its nickname the Bloody Nickel because of the highly publicized incidents of violence that have been taking place in the neighborhood for decades. Bloody Nickel, guys. Who gave it that name? It just spread like nothing, guys. Fifth Ward right now? The Bloody Nickel, they call it. It's supposed to be one of the more dangerous areas of Houston. What's up, Jimmy? Fifth Ward, Houston, Texas. We out here. North side of H-Town and everything. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people online saying that the north side is the most dangerous side. No, it's dangerous everywhere, but you know what I'm saying? It's just north side, got a lot, a lot of stuff don't make the news. Nigga. Snap, bro. Hey, when you want to publish it, guys. Knock you for your hood caps in your car. The smaller thing <laughs> has hood caps, for sure. Yeah. What's it like growing up here? It's different, bro. Like in the, like let's say like in the early '80s and the '90s, it was like murder capital of the world. It's pros and he have his pros and cons. Dang, bro. Oh yeah, it's Texas, bro. Texas, Texas hoods are known to be bad. Guns. If you that guy, humble, respectful, go by the street code. You know what I'm saying? You good. This is the main thing right here, Bruce and Noble, is where you know I all started, and this way you know is we gonna continue. Brewster and Noble lie in the heart of Fifth Ward, and one Google search will show you just how active the street is for gun violence. Like every day it looks like. In fact, Big a Jimmy- April 27, 28, what the heck? had just left a funeral for his friend who had his brains blown out in front of his child, right here on- Nah, oh, man, what the heck? It's all bad, bro. Brewster and Noble. Just last week, y'all just come from the guy's friend who I got on my shirt right here. He just was killed right there. Last last Thursday, right there. Yeah, I just killed right there last Thursday. Yeah. Oh man, I, I don't want to live there, bro. I am good. I'd rather chill in my house and make YouTube videos, guys. The streets are not for me. His name was Beezy, man. Yeah, he got killed right in front of his son. Got shot right in front of his son. Yeah, his son was like, "Where the tree at?" He's right here. He laid it out, bro. If you look at the close to the ground, you still see his brain fragments and shit all on the ground. Yeah, he actually got hit in the jaw and it came out his eye. Dang, bro. No way. That's so sad. Yeah, so here's the cut out of BZ. His funeral was uh, a few hours ago. What is it like having someone you love pass away so close to you? It's crazy. It's crazy like everything else. It's crazy. But it's all good. How do you cope with it? I said, we're in the hood. We don't have no chance but to cope with it. It's normal. There was another thing in... Oh my gosh, man. Fifth Ward that was normal that I wasn't used to. Doesn't he feel a little bit afraid doing this, guys? to gambling all right so apparently this is like a legendary corner store out here in fifth ward open 24 hours We're gonna go inside with big jim snap 24 hours 24 hours guys drink. bro this is the second time i've seen something like this they got gambling in the corner store they got them posted up smoking the cigs gambling out here that's wild man i've only ever seen this once before richmond virginia is the only other place i've seen that has something like that bro, I'm, a, I'm an addict bro i pull up if they had gambling at my uh my corner store bro i'd be broke next hey bro <laughs> they got gambling. I've seen that as well. Um, in some spots near me, and it's, it's different. It's different. We hopped in our cars and headed to Third Ward, and what we found will shock you. Yeah, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Man, welcome to the ghetto, man. <laughs> welcome to the ghetto. He's smoking something. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what. Third Ward, Houston, Texas. Man. All blacks, no Mexicans. He said, he said, all blacks, no Mexicans. When you hear about Houston, I feel like Third Ward is one of the main places people talk about. What what makes Third Ward so notorious? There's a lot happening out here. Dangerous out here. It ain't dangerous. So it ain't dangerous to us. Everything ain't happening for a reason. If something happening, there's something happening for it to happen. 
So it ain't dangerous out here. Damn, bro, he said it's not dangerous. I think I, I'd be pretty scared there, man, at night. We know everybody. Everybody. Not that panic attack. I know everybody, so they can come out here. But no outsiders can't come out here <laughs> with no bullshit, though. No. <laughs> in uh, places like D.C., they're known for smoking sheets and funnel. What do you guys smoke out here in the third ward? We don't smoke no Reggie. No Reggie. <laughs> Straight gas. <laughs> <laughs> top top. Straight gas. You guys usually do blunts? What y'all smoke out of? Backwoods. You both guys, when I was growing up, no, nowhere had legalized cannabis. No, no, nowhere. No, nowhere where I've lived, grown up, legalized it. Until like after I graduated high school, so. Barely started becoming legal, man. What the hell of Backwood make her act good, man? Yeah, I thought, I thought <laughs> Snap. Okay, okay. <laughs> good, bro. What's up, Houston slang? I might call you a bitch. That's friendly. What's up, bitch? You my boy. Really? I'm like a Baltimore. You call someone a bitch. They're like really pissed. <laughs> you gotta really be locked in and say what's up, bitch. Like talk like this. <laughs> yeah, so how, how would you react if somebody called you that? Let me know in the comments below. I don't really see that being used as a friendly gesture or anything. Where I live. Yeah, I call him a bitch. He call me a bitch. That's how we do it. <laughs> no love. I feel like if I pulled up and was like, what's up, bitch? I'll be asking you to punch me in my face. Yeah, I, yeah. First, I first, first I'm going to have to feel you. I see yeah. what's really going on. But if you ain't being disrespectful, no, no, no. Like first time you do it, I'm going to say, damn, he a law man. Not for real. You a law man. A law man. Police. You're trying to look like a cop, don't I? Nah, for real. What white guy pulling up in a black neighborhood? Hey, what's up, bitch? How them niggas? Hey, bro. Wait, say what? I thought he would be a law man, guys. Pushing P a Houston thing? Yeah, man. Everything a Houston thing. What we the hell is pushing P even mean, bro? Bro, we players out here. H time players. Just, Everyone, just, everybody get their swag. You no, know, they they come down here, bro, and get their swag from us, my nigga. Listen, yeah. Uh, uh, that's an interesting shirt. It's a cool shirt, but you know. You guys, the trend centers out here for sure. Where y'all get double cups from? Where you drinking from? They don't even listen. Either. Uh, RP Beasley, man, for sure. They don't even know the meaning of double cup. I guess in case you puncture the bottom of your one cup, I don't nah, know how the fuck does that work. You know. out here drinking on the block and the laws hit the corner, you gotta throw your cup and step on it and keep a clean cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason for double cup. This is the notorious Vaughn right here. For real? The funny thing about notorious Vaughn is that he's notorious for smoking illegal drugs that are bad. Snap. Yo, the limited guys. I I recently got a few videos limited already. I deny in no way. I'm not sure if this video is gonna be limited. Motor condone the usage of. This how I go on now. In third uh, ward, Houston, Texas. Load up the gun and, sh and smoke it, man. Hit that blue magic. That's that blue magic. We got that blue magic out here too. <laughs> Load up the barrel. Look. <laughs> Boom. Whole rock. Greg Wack 101. <laughs> hey, how's it feel? How's it feel? Yeah, how's it feel? You want to hear it? How long have you been smoking crack for? 25. Blue magic. They're making it blue now? Oh, Sam. 25 years. You're like a crack rock veteran. Who, me? You got a PhD in smoking crack rock. I think so. 25 years is a long time. Maybe so. Maybe so what, do, what do you think makes uh, the south, uh, south side of Houston so dangerous? The crazy motherfucker doing crazy <laughs> shit. The same thing everywhere make it dangerous because I do right. cluck shit. She hate. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker just, you know, just money, hate. Then you got to realize. Guys, I used to be addicted and it was terrible, man. The new generation coming up, they got no guidance. So shit. Willie Lynch. You know, that guidance is that you know the pistol. That's the only oh, they, they give respect. When I was growing up, you know we had. Dang, he's tatted up as well. Fight. Now they don't do no fight. All of a sudden, they, uh, they just pull the gun out. Get on. I'm, I'm telling you, last night I just seen it. I witnessed. Two thousand man, you live and get you a fist match. You know Might get saying? clicked on, but you ain't gonna be dead. Like nighttime out here is like different. It's like nighttime, you look and you'll be like, whoa, whoa, look at that. You see, hanging out, you gonna see it. Everybody got to get ready. But nighttime, shit, you got to get ready. Or you gonna, are you going to be right there on that street? Say, say, nobody like, ain't relaxing up. Four, five years ago, it was you real. couldn't, y'all couldn't stand up. We couldn't tell y'all. We couldn't help y'all. Damn, bro. I'm good. I'm going to the third ward, guys. Not bad. It was that bad. We couldn't help y'all and be like, oh, no, nah, don't do that. We couldn't. Okay. You think if I pulled up without checking in, it would be, uh, that would be an issue? Like, would it be taken as disrespectful? Yeah, and no. It wouldn't be as bad because now, like, pretty much everywhere, everything being regentrified. Yeah, how do you feel about gentrification in Houston? I like it, then I don't like it. Till the fifth ward's the last. Yes, I forgot what gentrification means. I apologize. Uh, I've been reacting so much. I never even learned the term. Uh, I mean, I, I know it has to do with something, but I completely forgot about this. Urban neighborhood in Houston, 
to get regentrified. We still have a lot of banded houses and houses wore down in Fifth Ward. Maybe about a year ago, a guy had uh, ended up raping a girl in his house right here. Oh, shit. Hey, bro, that's, that's too much. Yeah, back in the 80s and early 90s, people were you can get the video limited, man. People would take me there, they do drugs or kidnap, hire, and then they'll never think to go in the bando because it's abandoned. That's crazy. Imagine getting dragged into an abandoned house and violated like that. Mind if I go peek, peek into it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's check this out. Let's check. And they got boarded up and everything, guys. So, uh, a little Fifth Ward urban exploration. Yeah, it does. It does smell a little bit like piss, I will have to say. <laughs> oh, this is how you get in. This is the little entry. This smells straight up like shit in here, bro. Can you guys see on the kings? <laughs> you said people come in here to shit? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like it, bro. This is crazy. Can you see this? Can you see this on the ground? There's so much food. People got shoes in here. Hey, bro. If I was recycling, that, that'd be a good little come up, right, guys? We got girls, nice shoes. And they definitely, they definitely are shitting up a storm in here, man. Wow. Dang, I, I could smell the house from here, guys. <laughs> it smells bad. Bad things happen in here. So, are you from uh, Houston? Yes, sir. You from Fifth Ward? Yes, sir. What's it like growing up here? I mean, it's just like everywhere else, but it's not like everywhere else. I say this, you will be like tougher. It's going to make you be mentally tougher, physically tougher. Like, we don't glorify like bullshit that's being promoted when it comes to music. What's your take on the the rising trend of like smoking on ops and dissing the dead and all that? Um, honestly, I don't agree with it because, you know, regardless of how you felt about a person when they were alive, I feel like you should like respect the fact that they not here to defend themselves. They're going wild in New York. Damn, bro. It's such a such a scary feeling that, you know, we're actually going to maybe pass away one day, man. In Chicago with the disrespecting yeah. of the dead big time. Yeah, and then it's, you know, it's starting to come down here, like in the south to where rappers are on the same type of time. But honestly, I don't agree with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of same here, bro. I actually stopped listening to rap for the most part altogether, guys. I don't really listen to music that much. Before, when I wasn't a streamer, I always listened to, like, uh, you know, rap. Uh, like, uh, but now that I stream, actually, last stream, I did listen to a bunch of rap. Never mind, never mind. A lot of them are scary. Like, they, they scared to, like, fight. You know what I'm saying? Or a lot of them, they just react. You know, only when I stream RuneScape or something, I, I'd be playing some rap. Like what I even thinking. You know, like, there's consequences behind every bad action you make. So whatever you do, it's going to be consequences that come behind it. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring back fist fighting, bro. Next, we spoke to Baby J, the youngest son of Jay Prince, who's a... How about we don't? How about we bring back peace, not fist fighting, guys? Screw all that. In the community, and also a native of Fifth Ward. You got family connections to Fifth Ward, right? Your father was from there? Father's from there. Damn, he's got a Kingdom Hearts thing right there. That's cool, that's cool. Fifth Ward, born and raised. I mean, he's had a big impact on the culture in Fifth Ward. Some GameCube controllers? Oh, snap, guys. You think he's playing, like, Smash or something, guys? The Pro Controller as well? Absolutely. I mean, to, to be somebody that's a, a, a beacon to the youth and then have made it as far as he's made it and then still be able to go back there and, you know, walk down the street, ride his bike up and down, whatever. People, you know, stop, honk, wave. Well, a lot of people blow up and they make it, so to say, and then they leave their city, right? What do you think kept your dad around and made him, like, give back to the community? So my pops, he used to tell me that, like, police officers would come up to him and ask him, like, why don't you just leave? Like, why don't you abandon where you came from? Like, man, he would have never made it if he didn't have that. He can't leave those things that made him who he is. So he's still there almost every day. If he's in town, he's in fifth floor almost every day. Cool, it doesn't really matter what I do because I'll always stay. Hey, showing his Patreon, patrons or something. Yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, he's got a lot of patrons. He, he doesn't even have a... He doesn't even have a join button, but he has patrons. Please like the video, turn notification. I've been struggling getting my videos monetized recently. I have three videos edited and up, ready to upload. Lily Streep interviews, brands going out of the way, places media for, has forgotten. The media being there, they probably wouldn't decline interviews. Good. And of all your hood types videos, these guys seem the most chillest and the most... I know, right, guys? They are super, like, chill and respectful the whole video, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Friends, little YouTube legend. I'm happy we have him. Alright, guys, that's our video. Check out Brandon Buckingham in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next video.
Peace out, everyone. Thank you for watching. And do all my reactions live on Twitch. So if you want to come through, say hi. You're more welcome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.